messaging people on Poshmark without spamming them. I'm gonna talk about that today. I'm Monique, the work from home mogul, and I have a YouTube channel. You're here right now, learning about working from home, online businesses. I own a subscription box. I'm a Poshmark ambassador and I make money from different apps, one of them being Poshmark as a reseller. How can you be successful on Poshmark? Find out by watching this whole video and some commentary from Chatty Catry. I would actually prefer it if you would call me by my real name, Katrina, because my parents did kind of take the time to consider and like pick that actual name for me. So it is really important to give them that since they did that. And like, I never really told anyone to call me by a nickname and I do have a lot to say, but that doesn't mean that I need to always say it. Like sometimes I don't always say everything that I want to say because not everyone needs to hear everything that I want to say. You can get banned on Poshmark for sending messages or you can make a ton of sales. And I'm going to tell you the difference between the two, so don't go anywhere. On Poshmark, it's kind of a free-for-all for sending messages. You can either comment on someone's listing, and it's pretty much there forever unless the seller flags it. You can send messages in bundles. Either you're adding another person's listing to your bundle because you're interested in buying, or you or they add a, your listing to their bundle because they're interested in buying or you're trying to get them interested in buying, you can make a comment there. And after a buyer purchases from you, within that purchase page, there is now an, a way to comment instead of in their bundle, just so it's easier for some of the buyers to see. All of these messages can be flagged for spam harassment, off Poshmark transactions. I guess I should have looked this up before I did this video, but. Spam, transaction, off Poshmark, offensive comment, harassment. That's it. The other person flags you, it'll kind of just delete it. I think it'll also get reported. How do you not spam people? Well, really by not posting any irrelevant promotional commercial content because that's kind of what spam is. However, this is Sorry, a- I'm not sure about that. Shut up. However, this is a selling platform. So when you're sending messages, trying to sell your things, is it really spam because you're supposed to be promoting and it's never irrelevant? But if you come out of nowhere and you're posting on other people's listings about, hey, check out my closet, or I have this same thing at a less price, that is definitely a violation. When you're sending unsolicited messages to people that have never engaged with you, that could be dicey. There's a few ways to do it, but first let's talk about what not to do. Going at random selecting people and just telling them, hey, look at my closet. Hey, I'm giving these discounts. Please buy from me. I just lost my job and I have three kids and I need the money. This will be considered spam and it will be considered something to be blocked or banned for. A time when they are expecting a message is if they have bought from you, if they've added something to a bundle they're pretty much ready to buy. If they have liked something, they might be able to be swayed. If they've asked a question, obviously you need to answer them. I have talked about on this channel some proactive ways to find customers that have not engaged with you if they haven't liked or bundled or asked a question or followed you or shared one of your listings. That would be considered someone that has not engaged with you. If you look up items that are similar to your items and you've found people that have liked them, this is where you can either send a helpful message or a spammy message. What do you think an example of a spammy message would be? Come check out my closet, buy from me. I need you to look at this. Oh my gosh, I have 24 hours where I'm giving this sale. Anything that does not really engage a conversation. So if you're just copying and pasting, they can tell that it's really unauthentic. That could be considered 
as spammy or irrelevant promotional commercial. But if you ask a question and it incites them to answer it, it could actually help. Hey, I'm not sure if I'm too late, but I saw you liked this particular item and I have something like it or similar. Can I give you any more information? They can respond to you or they can ignore it, but don't feel like they've been bombarded. When you go to the feed tab and the search tool, you can search by people, which lets you search by city, like my city, or search new people. This is a way to find new random people. So you can either be spammy or you can offer engaging dialogue, meaning, hey, how can I help you? Basically making an inquiry, wanting to find out something about them or want to offer some help, not just offer them to buy from you. Offer to style them, offer to make suggestions, but not, hey, do this for me. Hey, look in my closet. Hey, buy something from me. If they're new here, are you interested in buying, selling, or both? That way, if they respond buying, Great, how can I help you? I can style you. What are some of your favorite categories? Continue the conversation. Another way that I find people is if they have won a Poshmark contest. When there's make a deal days, when there's love it or list it challenges, or just Poshmark just giving out random 20, 50, $100 credits to 20, 50, 100 people. This happens every single week. And on the blog or at the header, notifications they're always saying the winners they're listed right there you can go in their closet you can go into their bundle and you can message them which people do a lot if you've ever won a contest you're probably going to get a whole bunch of spammy messages how can you set yourself apart from those people some people would say just don't ever send a message these people are going to spend their credits where they want and you being top of mind is annoying to them. However, if you send a really nice message, just congratulations, and they block you, is that the kind of person you wanna be doing business with anyway? I've tried it a few different ways. I went ahead and made a listing like, hey, I give deals on bundles and just shared the listing instead of a message. That was a little bit spammy because it's just sending an offer without any type of dialogue. I've done the, hey, I'm so happy that you're a winner. I hope to win one day. Come check out my closet. Some people like that. Some people don't like that I've added the check out my closet. Kind of slipped it in there at the end. Now, I'm just congratulating them. And I'm at the top of my closet is the little graphic of bundle deals. If they happen to go into my closet, they'll see that first or if they answer me, thank you, oh my gosh, I never had one before, da, da. if they are saying some things that I can have a dialogue about, then I can continue the conversation. If I happen to do this consistently, you can see that some people win multiple times. I don't know why, because I've never won, but it happens. And if you say congrats again, they haven't blocked you, you're able to then say, I've noticed that you got credits last time, this month, this is the third time I'm congratulating you. How are you winning? Make a conversation. Let me know if there's any credits that you wanna spend with me. They have to spend their credits with a Poshmark user. It's not like they can just put the money in their bank account. I would always suggest to, to first engage with the people that are engaged with your closet. They're, more receptive to a message because they initiated coming to your closet, liking something, making a comment, bundling, whatever they're doing. If you're the one going out there and finding them because they liked a similar listing to yours, especially if it's already sold, which you can filter the search by, this is a great way to find them. However, you don't really know how old that listing is because it just says the date without the year you want to ask questions, get a conversation going before just starting to share offers. Let me know if this was helpful. If you got this far in the video, please 
like it, share it with another Poshmark user, someone that is interested in getting on Poshmark. You can use my code mo underscore goal for a free $10 credit. Spend it in mo underscore goals closet or someone else's closet. Follow me on Poshmark. I will share your listings if you comment that you found me on YouTube. By the time you see this, maybe I'll have over 100,000 followers. We'll see. Now let's hear from Chatty Catty. I love when they started that Poshmark message feature because before when you had to kind of do it inside the comments, you couldn't really go back and forth all that long because you don't need everyone seeing all your business and whatever you're talking about. Sometimes you really want to like have more to say or, you know, kind of go back and forth. So now that they've done this bundle feature, I've been able to really have like good dialogues with people. In fact, there was this one person and she was telling me how she was laid off. She was telling me how her parents actually recently passed from, um, all the things that were I'm not really gonna share everything that she said to me because a lot of it was in confidence but she ended up buying like 27 things from me and then she has come back a few times to either buy like one thing if someone made an offer on it she would like immediately come and buy it and this is a true story like she would do bundles of things but also like anytime anyone ever made an offer on one thing she would go and buy it immediately for full price so like this is a person just because I let her open up to me and I was we were like going back and forth a lot she has bought a lot from me I think it's really smart that you don't rely on being found but how do you find the time to have all these conversations oh well, okay so a lot of these conversations will happen at night and like you know the people that don't want to talk really won't talk but the people that open up like on a Friday Saturday night like you can be sure that they're gonna want to talk to you because of what are they doing they're on an app shopping like and have absolutely nothing else to do so if you just open up and let them know what's going on and you know you're kind of like entertaining with them you can get a lot of information out of those people and you can kind of use that information to have them buy more from you which is kind of like really the point right how do you get the conversations to steer back towards your closet and what you have to offer rather than just going on some random tangent. I hear what you're saying. Like a lot of times people will just talk and they're not really talking about the closet, but like what I like to do is if I have a story to tell and a story kind of always involves me wearing something. I mean, like I'm not completely naked all the time in a story. Like I'm usually out in public and at that time, you know, I kind of got to be wearing clothes and a lot of these clothes are on Poshmark. So if I'm relating to them and I can kind of bring it back to whatever I'm doing, I'm definitely going to be talking about Poshmark because I talk about Poshmark every single day. Like those of you that know me, you know, I'm talking about this thing 24 seven. So of course things in my closet are going to come up and it's going to be more of a way for me to like tell them hey you know we are on this app talking so like obviously we need to be talking about Poshmark because that's the app that we're using at this we're out of time today but thank you so much for sharing yeah but one more thing like I know that some people don't want to talk back and forth. You really don't have a lot of time to do that. But if you find the people that you can really open up to, people are going to buy from you because, I mean, there's hundreds of thousands of closets on Poshmark. If they're just going for price or if they're just going for, like, a specific style, you can bet your pants that they're going to buy those pants from someone else. So what you want to do is you want to make them like you by talking to them. And then you're going to have them come back and buy from you more later. Thank you, Work From Home Bodies, for being subscribed, hit that notification bell for next week's video. Make sure to watch this one to learn more about how you can get more sales fast. See you next time, bye. On Poshmark, it's kind of a free for all for sending messages.